All right, welcome back to Overly Confident Gamers. This is episode two of Breath of the Wild. Uh, we just got done with the second shrine on the uh, Great Plateau. Where's that dude at? That shot his bullshit lasers at me. We're gonna go fight him? I want the bomb man. Yeah, let's see how long this takes. Him right there? Yeah. Oh. It's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Never mind. Oh god, there's a skeleton. Come over here by my bomb. Yeah, see that? Um. Um. My sword broke. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Yeah, you make sure you kill the heads or they'll say, uh, they'll get back up. And... Well, that guy's over here dancing without a head, so I don't understand that, but... You can... You can pick up the heads and then drop kick them. Really? Yes. You don't have any more space for weapons. Oh, but I need... Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why did they put that button right there with this... Start button supposed to be. I'm gonna get rid. Get rid of the branch. Go uh, click equip. Uh, drop or drop whatever. Can, is that like the arm really a a weapon? Yes. And when it's on your back, it looks like it's trying to grab your ass. Can we? No. No, no, that's off the grip. We need to die. What if I jump into water, though? Uh, I think the only water connected to it is, like, freezing water. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's probably a way to get down. I just don't know how to. I mean, there's probably, it's probably not meant to be done. Yeah. But I'm sure someone will figure out how to do it. You bombs look great on these guys, you know. That is true, I do have them. Yeah. I like using the square ones more than the, the circular ones. How do I use the square ones? Here, hit X before you kill yourself somehow. Hit up on the D-pad. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. That's how you switch between your, uh, they're called like runes or something. Anyways, head towards that one. Try playing RuneScape again. God, you look so faggish, or er, um, <laughs> you look so happy what? running like that. God, I'm gonna have to edit this video. <laughs> no, you're just talking about the uh, bundle of sticks. Yes. Because I have a lot of sticks in my back. So you do. I look like a bundle of sticks. It'd be funny if, like, if you sprint too much, the wood on your back rubs together and lights on fire. <laughs> no. oh, I can sneak up on the place. You could have also shot the beehive. Oh. And it would have... Killed him? Chased him off. I don't think he killed him. Look at that air. You can collect the beehive for stuff. Do I sneak up on it? Mm, no. You are a lying bastard. I didn't lie. They don't like fire, though. So next time you go to a beehive, I take a torch with you. Why can't I pick it up? Jump pick up the tree. <laughs> Some bullshit shit. Or tree. hit it or something. Oh, yeah, I see. You could just grab it. Just jump. Oh. There. God. Jeez. Yeah. Don't bring God into this. I mean, I would <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate this game. No, I'm joking. What? I love this game. I hate the controller. I press. That's the pro controller. That's like the best play to, way to play this. Yeah, but th why is the B where the A is and the A where. You're just used to Xbox, that's all. Oh, well, I ate the damn B cone thing. You didn't eat it, you grabbed it. No, I ate it. Because as soon as it went into this menu, I highlighted it, I tried to press B, 
And you ate it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like spitting up bee larva. <clears throat> I mean, bears. Go into that house. So, is that old dude going to be in there? No. But his diary will. Bullshit, you lied to me. Oh, he is in here. Read it. Ah, <laughs> oh, the only pleasure. There's nothing important here. Truthfully, story-wise, just read through it real quick. He'll talk about some dumbass recipe. Uh, Stop reading. I guess I assume you read it all. Seal the peppers. All right. That nice big battle axe. Yep. Wake him. I've never seen him sleeping. I want to see what he says. Oh. <laughs> Just to make sure. Okay, whatever. I tried. You wonder if at some point... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Go, uh, go wait by the fire. Just go to noon. Trying to get you something. All right. He needs to be up awake. All right, he's probably out in the field. One second. <laughs> Not what I meant to pull out. Where's my boat? God damn it. <laughs> if you're near a fire, it becomes... <laughs> and it's cooked already. Sweet, well, that works out. Alright, he, he'll be out. Up against a tree. Out. Oh, there you go. I see him. Chopping it down with the axe I stole. That axe is relatively small to him. It is. Cut down trees. Yeah, go ahead and cut his tree down for him. Hey, I got a leaf. Yeah, this is one of those. Oh, no, you didn't get it. You're too full. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Go ahead and cut the tree itself. Oh, oh. Get some wood. There you go. I am. A great woodcutter. Alright, go follow that dude. Okay. I was going to create a bridge, but... Wait till he sits down in front of the cooking pot, because we gotta cook crap. Oh, am I in the tutorial still? Yeah. Go pick up some mushrooms or something while we're waiting for him to slowly walk his ass over there. Oh, I can't wait until I can buy a Switch and just play this game constantly. Oh my god, that's, that's what I've been so... I've been meaning to do so much shit, and then I, I find out, and like, I'll, I'll get on here to just scan my amiibos <laughs> to get the crap, and then it's a couple hours later. <laughs> just random shit I've been doing. What did you cook? Oh, that's a piece no. of shit. <laughs> I cooked a bird as I shot him. Uh, okay, so I talked to him. Did he actually cook anything or? Uh, yeah. Go up to the cooking thing. And cook something. I'm gonna tell you specifically what to cook. Okay. Okay. Um, go to your hold thing. My hold thing? Oh. Press X to hold. Right. One of those peppers. The one of the fish. And that thing of meat. Cook that. Oh man, we're gonna get him the shits. Oh man. Spicy.
spicy meat and seafood fry. All right, go talk to him. Like a flodger. Say you cooked something. Oh. It's a piece of poop. <laughs> <laughs> he just reached for his ass and handed it to him, so... It got dark, but how did you... <laughs> Where is it? Clouds go over this. <laughs> Blot out the sun. Da -da -da -da. Oh, look at that. Yep, now you can go into the cold areas without having to, like, eat stuff or carry a torch. Well, this over here... Oh. No, you, it won't make you too hot in this area. Basically, as long as you're wearing that, you can go anywhere in the Great Plateau. Except in the freezing water. Because okay. no matter what, that just freezes you. Um, anything else you need to do with this guy? Nah, he's pretty much useless now. It's like the one good item he gives you up here. Oh, besides the paraglider, but that's, you know, part of the... Make sure you cut it right to where it gets stuck on a different tree. Okay. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Do you? <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> no. Um, can I not? You should be able to. Is it because it's like, no, just walk it. I'm so like paranoid. Now cut it. Huh. Jump up and press Y. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Y is a different button, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Y is the attack button, I think. Yeah. I was pressing the Xbox. Xbox Y. Ooh, if I cut this tree down, will I get the apples? Yeah. What the hell are they doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. Okay, you're a dick. I'll hit this guy then. Bombs. They will. They will save you on these weaker enemies. Will they? Save your weapons. Uh, yeah. You can also blow that tree up. Okay, wow. There you go, there's all your apples. Sweet. I'm gonna make an apple pie later. You can also throw another bomb at that and get wood. And now, is wood just used like as campfire? Uh, there'll be some certain people for quests that ask. Like, this one lady asked for 30 pieces of uh, things of wood. And I was like, okay, well, that's gonna take a bit. So I went into like this little wood clearing area. It was a small little wooden area, and I started destroying things for wood, and then I got to thinking, you know, I'm just gonna take this whole damn th it, it looks completely different. I changed the landscape, you know, of how it looks without all the trees. Yeah. Like, I mean, they grow back. Okay. They, they do come back. But, uh, I had like over a hundred something pieces of wood after that. Oh, you're gonna be climbing up. Uh, it's easier if you go from the front. I thought I about jumped off the cliff there. Right there? I just keep going around. Should be, uh. Whoa. Yeah, that one's probably the. There should be something in front of you. Yeah, you can start. Yeah. Alright, I did promise you guys more climbing in this episode, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You're gonna wanna, you know, stop at these and stops. Right up. Oh, at the end of last episode we were talking about you were asking like, is it a hundred of each for the top thing? And no, uh do you wanna know how many shrines there are? I mean it's mm. Yeah, I don't there's hundred and twenty. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean not like that's a huge spoiler, it's just No. Uh, as for those little seed things those guys give you, um, 900. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> 900? Really? <laughs> yeah. It's not what I was saying son of a bitch to, but that's still a son of a bitch moment. Do you want to just let, want me to let you figure out what they're for? Or? Yeah. Alright. It's not really a huge plot point either, but 
You know, if this was Skyrim, I'd be able to stand on this part right now. Now, normally your uh, your shrine count and your orb count should be the same. You can though discover a shrine and then not complete it. Really? Okay. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. If you uh, you know how you activate the shrine, mm -hmm. you can use that as a teleport point then, as long as it's activated, even if you haven't completed it. You didn't know you could fast travel, did you? I did not. Well, I mean, well the old man told you, but you were paying attention. Oh, no! Why did you let go? <laughs> you bastard! I didn't tell you to let go! Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright. Real quick for the people at home. If you're playing this game, and you discover a shrine, where it pops up the little words of the shrine, but you don't do anything with it, the symbol will appear on your map as orange. If you activate the shrine, but you don't complete it, the symbol on your map will pop up um, as orange, but the little box around it will be blue. That stands for activated, but the orange part of it means it's not completed. If you complete it, the whole thing's blue. Okay. I just thought that was it. Oh, and uh, by the name of the shrine, there will or there will not be a little chest symbol. If you have the chest symbol, that means you have gotten all the chests in that shrine. It's a good tidbit to know. That's just stuff, you know, I kind of figured out. Like that chest one, I've been playing the game for so long and then uh, I was reading some comments and someone mentioned, well, I'll just go back and check to see if I have it by looking at the chest symbol. And I was like, huh? A chest symbol. <laughs> so I had to go look myself. Uh, what would we do without the internet? I can't remember how games were without it. Yeah, I know. I remember pl buying player's guides. Right? I have player's guides to uh, Nintendo 64 games, uh, GameCube games. I, you know, I still... I've bought, yeah, some. I usually don't look, though. Usually buy it more for like a collector's. I I'll buy like a Pokemon playing guides. Oh well, yeah, stuff like that. Just mainly though for the stats of the Pokemon though. I buy the Zelda ones because they they're neat looking. The hardcover. And this is where I fell last time. I don't know why I fell. God, I guess I just go up. Yeah. You'll get a better handle on stuff, or you can go right. I was like, you might have made it, but... Yeah, as you play. Uh, I will just... I'm, I'm going to point stuff out to you as you play. That's fine. I know. I did do a shit ton of that, Darren. Uh, actually, in Dark Souls, there's a lot I did not tell you just to conserve, conserve time. Oh, well, yeah. Well, see, I feel if I don't tell you shit in this game, it'll take forever. Wow. <laughs> like getting that uh, that warm thing or whatever. The, uh... Oh, the shirt. Okay. Do your thing. Oh, every time I take a drink, I feel my insides rotting out. And a lot of this stuff I'm telling you is going to be stuff that I just figured out because when I first played it, There's there was no like nothing on the internet for it, basically. Oh, goodness. Okay. How come this little barrier doesn't shatter, but like all the monks do? I don't really think it's a barrier. Whatever. No matter, and duct tape does not keep the <laughs> god damn no matter how much duct tape you put on that oh well, i'm not i'm not gonna worry about it i'm sure they can still hear you so do i get something every time i do this i mean for all honor <laughs> shines no <laughs> just on the great plateau okay Oh, what did I get now? 
Uh, stop the flow of time for an object. Okay, there's always going to be some kind of time concept in a Zelda game, almost. In the 3D ones. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, I don't think there was anything time-wise for a Twilight Princess. Are you sure it's not the ones that just deal with time like... Well, Ocarina of Time had it, Majora's Mask had it, uh... Wind Waker didn't really have... I thought I could stop it, it was trying to yell. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's yellow. In this one, everything's yellow. It's when it turns green. It's that greenish tinge. There's a hammer to your left. Oh! Just, what do you got? A bunch of shit. Well, yeah, but you, you don't have to go into the menu every time. Oh. Uh. Like, uh... Here, just cancel out of this. I'll show you something. Go to, uh... Yeah, open the menu that way. Go to, like, that staff. See how weak it is, too? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Click on that. Link will equip that. Um, I'm pressing A, nothing's happening. Or just let go, I think, when you highlight it over it. Oh. Uh, hold the, uh, the, yeah, and just throw it, and then pick up the weapon. I figured I can throw shit. That's what I do a lot whenever I'm switching out weapons. Am I supposed to hit this? You have to freeze it, then hit it. And just keep hitting it. Oh. Yeah, it's a, a cumul cumulative. Oh, what's that energy? It has kinetic. Some. No, kinetic is potential. No, no, well, someone... kinetic's potential energy. I thought, or is that? Yeah, it's been too long. I don't remember anymore. Oh, his hand symbol's upside down. Yeah, it is. I did not get a chest in here, so... Yeah, it, it was back behind you. It was up at the top of that ramp where the balls were coming from. Did it have anything important in it? Uh, no, none of them. Only chests that have, like, uh, armor would be really important. None of them give you an armor. Because there's a few shrines that'll... give you certain armor types. Okay. Or, you know, unique armor. Oh, God, you so Not what I wanted. So this is, uh, this is my second switch. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna tell this story. Kind of crazy. Uh, just keep bombing it until you destroy it. <laughs> Damn. So, when the Switches went up for pre-order, I pre-ordered... I went around to like five different stores. On, on, the, on the internet, not actually going around. Pre-ordered from five of them. A couple of them canceled, but then I had like three for the longest time pre-ordered. And uh, I asked my brother if he wants one. And he said, yeah, and there was a shooting star right there. Does that mean anything? Uh, you can go get stuff from it, but you know, you're, you're stuck on the Great Plateau, so it doesn't mean anything now. It's not even showing up, I don't think. Don't worry about it. Oh, ah, well. Just head to that shrine. So my brother wanted to switch, so I kept one of the pre-orders for him, pre-order for me, and then for the longest time, me and my wife were deciding whether we wanted a third one so that she could have her own switch, but we ended up canceling it because, uh, money. And we'll wait till later, because uh, we kind of want to get one of the colored ones, the uh, the ones with the neon colors. Get it next to one of those barrels that'll blow down. Yeah, you want to get a lot further away. From <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're all right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so we just got the two. So I've had a, I've had uh, this switch we're playing on right now sitting in my 
sitting in the box at my house. But earlier today, while I was still asleep, my wife wanted to play this through, she was playing Zelda. Uh, and she had the headphones in, so it wouldn't be making noise. And uh, I had just gotten screen protectors for the Switch, tempered glass, but I hadn't put them on yet, because, you know, I worked the weekends, I was working. Uh, 12 hour shifts. So, I'm sleeping. Cat jumps up into her lap, hits the cord for the, uh, the fucking headphones, and just pulls the whole dock and switch off. Scratches the hell out of its screen. So... So I went ahead and opened this one. Now I'm gonna return that other one. <laughs> or try to. <laughs> So that means I have to restart this whole damn thing. And I had like 90 something trines. I was getting close to. I hadn't fought Ganon yet. I hadn't bothered to. Tried that once when I was really underpowered. Did not go well. I think we could do it right now in our current condition. Oh, we pick up a weapon or something. I do think I've come up with a way to beat Ganon right off the bat in the game. I mean, not like, you know, run straight there and get them, but without doing any story outside of the Great Plateau. It would just require some cooking. So what you're saying is we need to do a speed run? Well, like, no, it would take a bit to get the ingredients. Well, I mean, we'll set the, you know, set the speed run limit. Not really a limit, but... And see, here's the thing, you would need weapons. Like good weapons? Good weapons. Well, but see, that's the thing, you can get those weapons in the castle. Wow. I mean, it's a castle. There's a fucking armory in there. <laughs> Literally. Well, you know. I, you know, I've lost sight on that whole dungeon thing I'm supposed to be heading Yeah, towards. just keep heading that way, you're somewhat okay. Hey, glowy mushroom. That should be good to eat. Right? Anything that glows is good. If I've learned anything from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. That Fallout game. They should have... Oh no. No. <laughs> no, we'll finish No. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it'd be funny if like... Some of the animals or creatures you followed took craps and they were like glowing craps. I don't I don't know why I went there. Oh, God damn it. Oh ho ho. <laughs> it goes flying <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> what do you want? You really didn't need to talk to him. I didn't? No, you don't need to talk to him much. Oh, okay. Except well. for... The only reason I had you talk to him the one time was to get the uh, the outfit. Yeah. Go search that rock. I remember it gives you something. What rock? This rock? The rock. The, the weird... Amber. Penis... Rock. Huh. Okay. Oh. Circle. Fairy circle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go to back. I was sitting there thinking, why didn't you just jump off and go... Oh. I'm so used to... When I replayed through this game, I had a problem where I'd run to a cliff and jump off. And then die because I forget I don't have the paraglider yet. No, that's not how it works. Is that rock over there? Ah, yeah. Gotta pick it up and put it there. It's such an easy puzzle. How, how do you not understand this? Oh, I didn't see the rock. That was like my first thought was like, huh, it's missing a rock. <laughs> <laughs> or there's, you know, a gap or something. I'm just too interested in blowing it up. That's not a fairy. No. <laughs> what are you thinking, fairy circle? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, man, I popped up near a shrine one time where I, uh, I teleported to it. Oh, what I love is like there's sometimes I'll just be like under a rock. Mm -hmm. and so I'll pick up the rock and I'll be pressing A real quick, you know, to get through the talk or whatever. And I used to drop the rock. Yeah. 
So as soon as I get done talking, I set the rock down on top of it. <laughs> it they just, you know, go, ugh. Well, but, uh, what else was I talking about? God damn. Ah, uh, shit, I don't remember now. We were talking, oh, I uh, teleported to a shrine. There had been a Korok that I would gotten that's like right next to the shrine. And as I popped up at the shrine, there's a bird, a crow, right there. And you know, I wanted to kill it as I'm popping up. So I just, I'm going crazy with the sword. And this, and it's funny because at the angle, you just see this Korok just kind of, you know, over there watching me just annihilate this crow. <laughs> we can take their meat off their thing too. Okay. Well, after I kill him. <laughs> oh, you're gonna throw that meat out? He just threw that skull at <laughs> There's a, uh, <laughs> there's a clip of someone running away from, uh, there's a few small skull skeletons and a big skeleton, like, monster thing. Yeah. He's running away towards a cliff, and the big guy picks up one of the smaller skeletons and just tosses it at him. <laughs> <laughs> they have a name, uh, the Stalos, I think is what they're called. Oh. It's the name of, like, skeletons on here. Last shrine, we're almost out of this place. How much time? How much time we got left? Yeah. Like, unless I'm just completing these shrines quicker. We got 28 minutes. Ooh. Then, you know, the actual game gets a start. So are you gonna like actually pay attention to cutscenes and stuff? Like where they're talking? When I actually play through it myself. Oh I was saying on this, are you not going to? No, I can. Think I should. Think people are interested in that. Uh I don't know. I mean I guess we could. I kinda feel like our channel isn't one of the channels you uh you go to watch the actual cutscenes of stuff. Kind of do just talk to him, don't we? Look, you missed one. I mean, oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Can't go back and find it. No, it's, you, you can't get it yet. So now you just break ice. Oh, I can just climb it. Did I miss something? You took an inhale. No, oh, I was just inhaling. Yawning. I'm tired. You figured that out fast. I mean, it took Charlene forever <laughs> watching her play this shit. You. Oh, you, you want to know something cool? What? You can bounce it off your shield. Bounce what off my shield? Get your shield out. Um, I don't know how to do that, actually. L. Left. Left trigger. Now hit A. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta time it. You can lock onto that guy too and make it easier. Gosh, you really. How do you lock on? I think it's the shield button when you're close enough. Yeah. There you go. Well, it takes some timing. Yeah, if you get the timing right though, it it, it becomes handy for some stuff. You didn't get the other one. Yep, yeah, up. God, you are like Charlene. <laughs> ah, it's just game so game. unaware of. I know what to do. Don't even say anything. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. Nah, I think it's just one of my playthrough on these. I do like a lot worse. Usually in games, I'm really like missing the chest. I mean, it was literally right on the screen a couple seconds ago. <laughs> Gosh, look. So, where? Just, just pointing out. Right there? Yeah. Does that make you happy? Here, 
You feel like a big man now? I believe it's a spear. Well, I don't need a spear. Yeah. I always just grab the shit from the chest anyways. Like, it'll be like a shitty-ass weapon from it. Just to, you know, have the little chest mark above it. Yeah. It'll be a shitty-ass weapon, so I'll drop one of my weapons, grab that weapon, throw it way the hell away, grab my weapon that I dropped, and continue on. Because as long as I've opened the chest. Because if you don't have room, it closes the chest again, so it doesn't count. I'm not worried about actually getting all the chests. You get some kick-ass weapons in this game. Do you? You can, yeah. I mean, just like in looks and stuff. Ah, uh, flame swords, frost swords, electric swords. Do they eventually become more durable? Oh, uh, yeah. Your higher-up swords are more durable, and then... You can sometimes find them with a uh, durability ability. Where the fuck did that guy paraglide from? Wherever the fuck he wants. <laughs> but first, there's more. Imagine an X up. <laughs> that is where I buried the princess. <laughs> what? You killed him. Why is what the hell, Jack? Paraglide if you can just do that bullshit. I think he was hiding. Can I? The fact. There you go, go get it. Just jump right in. <laughs> you die like insanely fast in freezing water, it's crazy. You jump in, you start to get hurt, you're like, oh, I'll get out of this, and you're like, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> if you had more hearts, I guess. I mean, the only time I've ever fallen into freezing water is on here. After that, I knew to avoid the shit. <laughs> well. I, luckily. Okay, well, I'm supposed to go find this guy somewhere? Yeah. Hold on, go that way. Just straight that way? How's your shield doing? Isn't it, like, almost dead? Yeah. Alright. See, so get up to that, that hill right above the trees. I feel like you're about to kill me again. Oh, uh, potentially. I mean, I've had this go a little awry sometimes, but you know. You need to get a different shield, though. I mean, you have. Get one that's not dying. That'll, that'll... Get that tin one. That'll, that'll last longer. You know what I do when I'm running? What? I get it almost to the end, and then I let go for a few seconds. Because if you do that, then you gotta wait longer, wow. and you run slow. Just hold it. When it gets closer, you can let go. Because then you're at least running at normal speed for a little bit, instead of running super slow when you run out. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, way to beat the game. Or hack. It's not a hack, it's just something. It's like that little torch running in Skyrim. Right? Alright, you can probably figure out where we're supposed to be going. From here? Remember what he said to meet him at the one place? The temple? Yeah. Alright. Now hold up. Stop. Bring out your shield. Get to the edge. This edge? Yeah, bring out your shield. Nah, that's not my shield. You're gonna press, um... The jump button, then A. You're gonna go right, because you're gonna go off the edge of the water. So where was I supposed to go? To the right. Follow the path to the right. Oh. I was getting you more. You, the other way is to the left. There's slower ways around that way. Okay. Well. Burn the crumbs from the pop tart off my hand. We'll try that again. Yeah. I'm guessing I'm coming from the temple. Yeah. I uh, put you. Yeah. No, that's all right. God damn, I did do the wrong thing. I need a bathroom. I'll be back. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Could be the end. <laughs> that bee could kill you. And more than that. Just going to 
keep on running. Keep on running. Keep on running. Very grassy. Oh, does it mark me die? statue. Now, should I trade for one of these or should I save my little orbs? Well, you can't use them for anything else. Oh. Do I want stamina or heart? Um, probably heart to begin with. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Stamina is nice. That's a cool looking little heart to get you. Get enough stamina, then you know, with the uh, the smaller things that you're climbing up, you don't even like, pay attention. You just mash that jump button. Really? Just get the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, we'll 
old man said something to me. Yeah. You gotta get up top. There's an easy way and a hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the easy way? Man, uh, when I was exploring, like I went up there before this. Mm -hmm. And I got the, uh, there's a chest with a bow. Nothing super special. Uh, <laughs> and I fell off. And I'm sitting there like trying not to die as I'm falling because I'm like pressing buttons. Yeah. Hitting the sword button. And I land on this like little tiny ledge somewhere. And yeah. I, I don't know. It just seemed kind of crazy. That is a crappy story. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> it's such a good story, <laughs> Dylan. Well, I mean, it would have been one of those things you had to be there. Well, yeah, sucks for you guys. You weren't there. I do plan to, uh, in these game throughs, show you something that I hope no one has known or found out yet. The time has come to show you who I truly am. Has it? I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I Who? was Rosa Barahama? leader of <laughs> Rosa Barahama. a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> We're going in a flashback, man. Nope. Oh, okay. Ba -ba -ba. I have a piece of like pop tart stuck the in my throat or something. Was merciless. Oh, that happened. It devastated everything um. in its path. Lo, mm -hmm. a century ago, it was then. That my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm so the body. My memory was still fragile. No. <laughs> Far from it. I thought it best to assume he is in an, an enlightened state of enlightenment. I think you are okay. Yeah, it didn't come. <laughs> Whatever. One hundred years ago. No. I don't care. Just let me go into the purple cloud. You know Calamity Ganon's true form. Shit got wrecked. One must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into man created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. This <laughs> weird picture of Zelda. Like... But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered the seems like a bad idea. <laughs> made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Kind of. Kind of seen it. These relics, yep. the divine beasts, were giant machines. No, they just had it. Okay. We also In real life, they were taking out the bridge, but you know. An army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected you. four skilled individuals Just so you know. <laughs> and tasked with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their union bond. <laughs> Don't do it. Her appointed knight and the rest of the champions were on the brink of Shouldn't the princess be in the castle? But nay. Nay. Gavin was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Yeah, three of those things. They need like a really funny voice. Like, oh, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. Kind of like the turrets from Portal. 
That'd be great. Oh, okay, yeah. He have not played Portal. I have not. He gotta play that. We played a lot of games. To be honest. Portal is... Portal 2. Portal 1 was, eh. Story-wise, it was... I mean, good puzzle, but whatever. Good brain workout. Portal 2 just made it better. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Uh. Link, you are our final hope. The face oh, I thought she was facing it alone. <laughs> Mainly to stop it from. I don't know. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than. <laughs> that nose! Right? You I know. He could smell miles away. Your fate took an unfortunate turn. I smelled you waking up. <laughs> you were taken to the shrine of resurrection. I could smell what you had for dinner last night. <laughs> revitalized 100 years later. Passing through your lower intestines. You <laughs> My nose is probing you. <laughs> Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter. Do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained How about control over all. I go sledding some more. As well as those guardians. I say we just light the whole place on fire. <laughs> just burn it down. We'll start a new. Reckless for you directly to the castle. I'll be the king. The king's dead already, so I I claim the throne. That you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. Look at this device there. If we could give it legs, would we just have it do the whole entire thing? You know what I find funny? They have all this technology, these guardians, this Sheikah slate back then. And the prophecy is written on a goddamn <laughs> piece of cloth and like horror. Look like a child drew that shit. You know, it's kind of funny how well preserved that cloth is. You can assume with the technology they have, either they advanced really quick or it's been many of years. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm done talking to you, old man. Remember, they, they ex, ex, I, I don't remember if he said it in there or if maybe Impa says it. But, uh. They don't really show who built. Uh, the, you know, they we assume it. They say it's the Sheikahs that built the, uh, the Guardians and all that. He said that too. Or, I don't know. But, uh, it's been a long time since they were built, is the thing. Yeah. Uh, your bow inventory and your staff and all that in sword inventory is different. Oh, god damn. <laughs> yeah, you just threw that for nothing. Oh, well. Can I, can I throw that? Or do I just have to No, go? you have to actually drop those. Ugh, I didn't even drop out the window. Such a failure in life. Ganon wins. <laughs> I give up. Okay, so was there a step out there and climb up? Oh, climb up? Yeah, climb up. Whatever. You can do it. Now jump. <laughs> now get to the very top. You can actually stand on that little triangular top thing. You or do? Just, or, well, you can keep going too. You have. You should have enough. God, that is some insane 
finger strength he has. He's like clawing it. He's into fucking it. Spider-Man. <laughs> this is this is the origin story of Spider-Man. Come on, Josh. Didn't you know Spider-Man was originally the, the hero of Hyrule? I did not know. Um Examine. Oh, of course. Yeah, there's 900 throughout the game, so those, those little shits are everywhere. Alright, now you can jump in the... Whenever you get to a top like that, and like hangs like that, mm -hmm. it'll recover his stamina. So, uh, do I have a paraglider thing? Yeah, uh, it, it's B again while you're in there. Okay. Where am I? I'm going to that dot, right? He wants you to go that way, I want you to go a different way. Which way? This way? Yeah, go left. Head more towards that shrine. Alright, we'll just, uh... This is nice. Is it eventually gonna run out of energy and I just fall? Yes. That's how it works. So... Because apparently the paraglider runs on your stamina for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just the stamina to hold on. Maybe. Okay. Oh gosh. I keep forgetting the whole run thing. Am I jumping off this cliff? Uh, well you're gonna go a little left of the... Over here? Just go to that very last edge one. And climb to the top of that little... It's kind of hard to stand on the top of it, but you can. You don't have to, though. You yeah, jump whatever. off the edge. But I want you to look down before you do it, so I'll tell you where to go. Keep pressing the A button for the B button. Alright, right out in front of you. There's some horses. Get yourself a horse. Okay. Aim for that one in the back, because it looks like it's multicolor. Multicolors are easier to get than... Well, I mean, they all... Oh, that one in the front has multiple colors, too. It doesn't matter. I don't think you're going to be able to get it. Yeah, see, you didn't even have to struggle with it. On the other ones, you'd have to sit there and... Oh, that guy's big. Yeah, run that way. Press L a bit, too. To soothe your horse. Uh, yeah, okay. increase your bond. See, like when it shakes its head and it doesn't want to do what you're saying, you keep pressing it until it does that. Yeah. So is it soothed? Yeah, it, it'll keep at, at the beginning, even though you soothe it, it'll shake its head like that and then go more left. Hey! Bitch ass horse. Not that way. Go! Yeah, there'll, there'll be a little bit of. Oh, shit. This will be your, uh... Your kind of your... Oh, I can't think of words. Your expendable horse. <laughs> and we only have a minute. Well, I'm gonna run off into the sunset. Nah, I'm joking. We can't. We don't have that technology. We'll stop. Alright, yeah, we'll stop it here. All right, next time we will get to a horse stable. We will do other shit and much more other shit. And, uh, I need another soda. Oh, oh, oh.